the main reason why we are here in this Senate Hall to have a press conference uh, before the 64th 10th March uh, uprising anniversary is we have a specific demand for the world leaders and for the uh, China. So what our demand is, China is trying to make Tibet issue an internet, internal matter of China. Tibet conflict is not internal matter, it is international matter. So we want the world leaders to acknowledge that Tibet matter is international matter and they should put pressure on China to come to the negotiation table. We want the world leadership to impress on China to have peace dialogue with the representatives of His Holiness Dalai Lama. We are not seeking for complete independence, though we were independent for a number of centuries, but we are ready to live with China provided they give us space to uh, keep our identity, religion and culture. So the rest all defense and security China has kept. The Tibetan Parliament in Exile and Central Tibetan Administration, we are committed to Middle Way policy, which is envisioned by His Holiness to live, coexist with the uh, Chinese brothers and sisters. And being a signatory of uh, UN uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, we want uh, the world leaders to make China accountable for custodial death in the Tibet prisons. There are so many arbitrary detentions who are not getting fair trial as per the law. We want them to take accountability of all those custodial deaths and stop arbitrary detention. So these are some of the, uh, and of course, the release of all the uh, the political prisoners who are political prisoners of conscience. The only crime they have done is that they have loved Tibetan culture, they have loved Tibetan way of life, and they have loved the Tibetan environment. So they should be released from the prison without any prior condition.